Okay, in this video we're going to learn how to write variable expressions using diagrams. In this particular one we want to write an expression for the length of the red line. So if we put the, the D together with the 10, we have D plus 10. That's it. That's all we have to do is no terms we can combine. Alright, next problem. This problem we have two ends, so that's plus another four in. We add them all together, we get the length of the red line. So we have one, two, plus four more makes six in. Okay. All right, this one, they all have the same like terms. It's two W's here, one W here, one here, and two here. If we add all these together, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6w, so the variable expression here would be 6w, or 6 times w. Okay, this particular problem, the 14 is just a constant, it doesn't have a, a variable with it, so we just have j plus 14, and we're done. Okay, when we want to find the length of the red line, we can see that it's really shorter than the black line. So if we take the length of the black line and subtract off the blue one, what would be left would be the red one. So we take B and take away 8. And this would be the length of the red line. Alright, same situation here. The red line is obviously shorter than the black line, so we say B take away six. We can't we can't combine any more or add to it because the six doesn't have a B on it. They have to be light terms. As you can probably guess, this one will be thirteen, and you take away the V. We start with the longest part. We take away the V and the red will be left. And the last problem, here we're adding together two S's. Have one there, one here, that makes two. S plus three units. Okay, hope this video helps. Thank you.